I'm Wendy Peart and I'm the Curator of Education at the Dunlop Art Gallery. Um, I had the opportunity to work with uh, Nicole Nugent from the Mackenzie Art Gallery on a collaborative project in fact um, to work with another artist who is from not from Canada he's an American artist uh, from Michigan his name is Dylan Miner he's a Métis artist he he does this pro program of this project called Native Kids Ride Bikes he came to Regina and worked with four local artists Keith Bird, Eagle Claw Tom, Stacy Fayant and Catherine Boyer and in turn these artists went into four community groups and worked with youth for about a period of a month to literally build a bike from scratch, from parts, and then to decorate it based on creative thoughts around things that came up in conversation through the building project. Now, the theme, of course, we have, has to do with Native culture. Um, and the bikes specifically relate to the project because they relate to this idea of transportation and about the idea of getting around urban centers. So in this case, the bike that's right here is, was uh, made by Stacy Fayant and her group at the Albert Branch. Um, and you can see it's quite interestingly decorated. Um, she worked with quite young people. They did braiding, they did traditional beadwork, um, they used um, traditional hides. And there's a lot of symbolism that goes into a lot of the ideas here, um, which the artist can potentially speak to um, during our Culture Days event on October 1st. So for that event on October 1st, we are going to have a panel discussion, well, kind of a loose conversation, I guess you could say, between the artists who worked on the project, and we're just gonna have them talk about what this idea of the collaborative residency meant to them, and how they felt it was um, sharing of information, how it was a kind of mentorship to young kids. So following this panel discussion that we're having in the, in the film theater, uh, at two o'clock, we're going to go up to the or to the gallery, where these bikes will be on display, and we're going to try to ride the bikes, which may be a bit of a challenge. So we're hoping anyone and everyone can come to the to learn more about the process, the project, and to maybe part participate in this bike riding event on October first. So I think it's really important to participate in Culture Days or the importance of Culture Days in general gives um, communities an opportunity to really uh, uh, highlight what they're doing on an ongoing basis in their community. And as people can become more aware of all the various things that happen in their community around culture, um, they become more aware of the many opportunities that are present. Um, so that's why I think it's really important for everyone to get out and at least, at least go to one or two events and see what we're all up to around here on an ongoing basis.